Today we're going to answer some of the questions, technically speaking, as far as uh, some of the questions that customers frequently ask us. And one of the questions that we get is, what kind of hydraulic fluid do I put in my machine? Well, that's a great question because people in the past have asked me that a lot and they typically think hydraulic oil is hydraulic oil, right? So I can put hydraulic oil in. The quick answer is no. A hydraulic oil is not right for your hydrostatic system and your skid steer loader, uh, your transmission system in a farm tractor or a backhoe or a tractor loader backhoe, any of that stuff. What I've had great luck with, when I was running a repair shop, I worked for a lot of farm and construction people that used skid steer loaders in both worlds, farm tractors, tractor loader backhoes, dozers, off-road forklifts, and I had great success using a tractor hydraulic fluid. It was kind of a coverall. It does the hydraulic oil, it does the transmission uh, components if you have a final drive or something in your system that's running in this oil and it also meets the specifications that the hydrostatic drive needs. To make it a little more confusing, some OEMs, original equipment manufacturers, about 15 years ago, they wanted to consolidate the oils and they started saying, hey, 10W30 motor oil has evolved to the point where it's good enough to run in your hydraulic system. Well, your owner's manual might say, use a 10W30 motor oil. It's not going to hurt it. It is overkill because motor oils have evolved since then. Uh, it's just you're going to pay a couple bucks a gallon extra, and you're probably going to buy it in quart bottles. So don't bother with the motor oil. If your equipment owner's manual says put a motor oil in it, the tractor hydraulic fluid is what it's typically called. We've got a sample here. Tractor fluid is what this one's called. I'm not pushing any one brand. It's just what the local place had. Tractor hydraulic fluid, tractor transmission fluid, uh, something like that. If it says AW32 or something like that, that's not good. That's a straight hydraulic oil. It does not have the additives you need for a hydrostatic drive in your skid loader. If it says R and O oil, it is not good enough for a hydrostatic drive. If it says tractor hydraulic fluid, tractor transmission fluid, something like that, you're probably okay. And on the back here, it shows you all the specs. And your owner's manual will also show the specs you need. But it shows all the different brands like J.I. Case, Ford New Holland, uh, John Deere International. Quick little spot here. John Deere makes a very popular fluid called a high guard fluid and it's in this same class. This oil meets the high guard specs. Do not put a high guard tractor fluid from John Deere into a skid steer loader or hydrostatic system. It's too heavy. If you have a John Deere and they tell you to use it, fine, but I, I'm not familiar enough with the John Deere skid loaders to know if they even recommend it for those. I have had customers put high guard into a skid steer loader, hydrostatic transmission is too heavy, especially when it gets cold. We're in northern Indiana, so maybe you don't have that problem, but we do. Uh, what we're looking for I've, is that your specification on your machine is on this label. Then we know for sure you're good. I gave you the general rule of thumb, 95%. I don't want you to be in the other 5%. So this specification here, and what I've found is the international B6 specification is covers all the others. So, you know, Deer has a spec, Case has a spec, International, Bobcat, they all got a spec. Every one of them I've looked at has met the same standards as the international B6 spec. There's nothing special about the international B6 spec except that it's short and easy to remember. That's what I always look for when I go shopping for hydraulic oil for skid steer loaders, I look for the International Harvester B6 spec because it's short, it's easy to remember. If it's on there, I know that oil is good enough. 